Hello, it's time to find out what's new in Microsoft 365 and Teams for the 1st to the 16th of July, 2022. We are looking at Stream, Outlook, SharePoint, and Teams. Now, there are some other delays and wants to watch covering some of the other apps, but if you want to see those, go over to the blog, look in the notes, and you'll see the link for that, which is gonna focus on some of the main updates this week. So starting with Stream. So the new uh, Microsoft Stream web app. So I would say every time we have one of these updates, I talk about an improvement to Stream and it's getting better and better. And the new app improves how you uh, view and publish video. What it's really doing, I think, is leveling up the old Stream and the new Stream. So the new Stream is more about the videos which are in OneDrive and in SharePoint rather than in old stream where they're off in Zoo somewhere. Um, so this uh, is files that are uploaded into Teams, Yammer, OneDrive and SharePoint and that is due uh, mid-May to mid-June. It'd be really good to see how that pans out. I think um, that version of, of stream has been a little bit lacking behind but it looks like they're putting that right. Okay, the ability to record a new video uh, in that app I've just been telling you about. So you can make demos, explainer videos, and communication videos in the new stream camera. So it gives you the ability to record your, your, from your webcam and record your screen. And then you can follow up by adding um, markups, so ink, text, backgrounds, that sort of stuff. And they're gonna be adding music as, as well. Now it's due early to late August uh, this year. I'm really hoping that you also get the ability to trim videos, and I'm not just talking about trimming the ends, but be able to take a chunk out, so edit the videos. I hear people asking for that a lot. You've got work machines, and there's no editing software. I think that will really make a big difference if that little uh, update comes. But folks, look out for that um, over the summer. Moving on to Outlook. Uh, Outlook for the web, the new experience for sharing cloud file links. Now, I'm not sure what I think of this. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a, a bit of a zoom in. So if I look at the old way of doing it, so this is for files uh, where you've shared uh, a link to uh, to a file that's, that's in OneDrive or SharePoint or another uh, cloud service, and it would appear at the top up here. Now, the new way, is that it's going to appear, appear in line inside the message. So oh, I would, let's see how this, how this, how this looks. At first, at first glance, I prefer how it used to be, um, but but we'll see we'll see, we'll see how, how it looks when it's done. Due mid July to May to late August in the the web version of Outlook, which means it'll come to the the main version uh, uh, to the full version eventually. But let's see how that looks. I'm a bit skeptical, but we'll see. Okay, SharePoint stream on SharePoint. So, so okay, so this this video collections page. So imagine that you've got uh, you've got a team. Microsoft team and you've got loads of channels and you've got uh, and, and you, you've got this big team of people and they've been creating lots and lots of content and it's kind of scattered all across uh, different areas and teams. What this means is that you can have this you have this one page let me just move this on a little bit so you can see there there's the URL so to the left here we've got like the, the, the site URL and then you've got this the bit that takes to the page so it just it's going to pull together all of the videos which are anywhere uh, in 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 your um, in, in in that SharePoint site. So which would be great for maybe adding as a tab in video, but it just means that all your videos can be in one place. So if, as a tab in uh, Teams, but it means that all your videos can be in one place for the first time. Due mid to late July, so due any time now. Really, I guess the date now. So you might see that any time now. So look out for that, folks. Okay, some nice updates for Teams. Changes to Word, Excel, and PowerPoint integration in Teams. So Word, Excel, and PowerPoint are being available as uh, personal apps. New abilities include the ability to pin it to the app bar and pop out new documents in a new window. Uh, you get an, um, an app homepage to navigate the documents, and you're getting a decluttered ribbon consistent with your office for the web experience so you can see here that um, someone has gone i tested this just before um, i recorded this uh, and i have this now so you go to uh, add apps do a search for powerpoint word or excel and 
imagine when you when you when you launch any of those apps what you see you just see that in teams love this i love the way that, that those apps uh, come to teams now i remember the amount of times that, that i've spoke to people in the past and they say teams is just another thing they have to look at i think this is another example how teams is teams is going to be where you go to work and you might already be there but but digitally is where you go to work and uh, I'm amazed how beautifully this works. So have a look at this, folks. Definitely worth having a look. I think this will change the way you work with Excel, uh, Word, and, and PowerPoint. Um, go have a look. You've probably got it now. If not, you should have it by the end of the month. Improvements to the in-meeting notifications. I think this is great as well. So why I wanted to just cut out some of the, uh, the the delays that I often talk about and the ones to watch because I wanted to focus on some of these and just so you when you come away from watching this video you remember some of the updates that I've covered uh, on this because these are some really nice updates this week so think about when somebody records a video you get the bar across top maybe you haven't got great network you get one type of um, uh, of update or error message and then you get uh, the, 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 the chat bubbles uh, and the notification teams are all over the place. Now, let's have a closer look at this. So they're all going to be the same style. And you can see here that they're just stacking on top of each other. And then as you acknowledge them, you delete and they move up. Or well, it appears that's how it's going to work anyway. So um, I think this is, is, is a great it's a great update. It's just a real simplification of the notifications. Uh, and just so you have a more focused experience so you your eyes aren't all over the place looking at different messages so i think this is a great update and looking forward to this early august to early september now that's a little way off isn't it and that's the type of update that i think i'll be telling you has been delayed um but look out for that folks i really like the look at that another thing i like the look at i've got some really nice updates this week is a new question type for uh, the polls app in teams so the ability to drag and drop uh, rankings um, so we've already got multiple choice quiz um, word cloud you may or may not have rating that is, is another new one um, but remember that polls is a new app that's taken over from forms inside teams meetings for the po for the polls functionality uh, due early to late september so that's a little way off isn't it um, but in the meantime look out for the fact you've now got polls and you've got this new question type called rating and a little bit further down the line you're going to get ranking okay the ability to accept or block external chat requests let's zoom in on this so you can see here that someone externally and this depends upon your organization letting you have external chats of course now this external person wants to have a chat with me and I can block it or accept it and at any time I can undo this if I accept the chat and it realize, I realize maybe it's not a person I thought it was I can go in and block it at any time I want another one that's due uh, mid-August to early September okay so another good one uh, enable Q&A in meetings uh, options so the Q&A app is uh, is is, re is a really nice way to have like a, a structured question and answer session as part of your your sessions. Particularly good if you've got somebody who's maybe co-hosting with you so they can keep an eye on that. But it's a little bit clunky how you add it. So you have to wait to get into the meeting, then you add it. So you've now got the ability to let me just zoom in on this for you folks. You see here we've gone into our into our meeting options. And we want to enable q a so we're going to turn that on so that works well let me just come out so uh, the pre and post meeting attendee experience is coming soon and look out for two q a icons eight q and a icons now it might be that if you have added if you've added it already to your meetings and then you add it here as well you can have two icons so microsoft recommend that you go and take the app off so you go into your meetings and remove the the q a app and you add it this way this will be the only way you can uh you can add the q a the app is being removed from your meeting options not your meeting options from within the meetings you can't add that app and this will be the only way you can add it from august Okay, uh, due mid to late July uh, this year, so not long. Okay, so Teams meetings, uh, pop out shared content into a separate window. This is brilliant. So I saw this for the first time on Friday. Someone's presenting, I've got quite a wide screen, so I can pop out 
the thing that they're presenting and still look at the video on the other um or the video feeds on the other video so on my screen i have them side by side but you could have them on different videos works really well um it's just me it's just that just it's, oh, it's hard to put a thing on it. it's just such a nicer experience you just have the actual content they're showing you over here and then you can just you can just look back at what they're saying look back at the contents works beautifully only supported on um machines with reasonable hardware but um if you've got anything that's 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 half modern it will, will probably be okay and they're working to to reduce the overhead that's that's required uh, that, that, that it creates so, so it should work on more and more machines uh due early august to late september but it's it's in early so i already see it and it might be that i'm using that, that i have my teams running in preview mode at the moment so have a look at that uh but certainly uh i i, I see it and it's worth having a look it's, it's a really nice update teams will no longer automatically provision a wiki with new channels another brilliant update so um when you create a channel you get uh you get the uh, uh, a wiki automatically and lots of people either never use them or or they get rid of them so that's going to stop and there's no exist no no impact on existing wikis uh, now it might be you've got automation which happens automatically that does something with that wiki that the automation is expecting to be created um so to just be aware that if you have anything like that happening you might need to to, to visit that um Due August uh, this year, uh, uh, anyone I've spoken to just thinks that's a great update. So another good uh, update ha coming soon. All right, folks, that takes us to the end of the session. Like I say, we just focused on the uh, on the things that are new. Um, if you're interested to see what's uh, running late, hop over to the blog, have a look in the notes. A couple of nice ones to look out for, ones to watch as well. But for now, folks, we're done. Hope to see you in a couple of weeks.